I doing? Like a, like a uh, Billy Mays infomercial type thing? Sorry, so, so we came up to New Hope for the day because it's a beautiful sunny day, but we stopped first at our friend's store. Best gift idea ever. You mm -hmm. saw this featured on the blog already um, at Christmas because you, we showed you um, from a distance yes. when you were at the Christmas market. Yes. So what is your business that's the best gift so idea? So we are in the business of letter art. Uh, we have over 350 various pictures of found letters and we mat and frame anything from 3 to 12 spaces. We also have a line of fire and pine laser etched wood carvings, whether they be maps or patents. So come on up, just lay them out on the table, we'll go nuts. We'll get crazy cool. Yeah, and there's like very creative ideas. I'll show you some of my favorite letters. Okay. Yeah, like, the, like this is a letter M, which I wouldn't have thought to make a fountain a letter M. We just pulled into New Hope to the parking lot that we like. It's right here by the river. Sometimes there's like ducks and stuff. It's cute. did you pick up from the pork shack? Um, what is it? The pork whiz. So it's like a cheese steak like a, like a of pork. pork. Uh, like a cheese whiz, um, a whiz with. Okay. <laughs> Cooked onions. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, have whiz, we'll try. Okay, so what did you think of the fairy market? Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, having been open since October, I feel like we've missed out on I mean, but no, I... We were last year on September 1st, I checked. Yeah. So, I'm glad since October it's, it's operational, still clean, and... Yeah, everything's clean, brand new. Um, not super crowded, even for a Saturday, like, lunchtime, you'd think a lot of people would be coming for brunch and lunch, and it's a beautiful sunny day, so you'd think a lot of people would be out. After the snow last week. Yeah, after, after it's snowed for the past month, so you'd think a lot of people would be out and, like, wanting to get lunch or brunch, but it's really not packed or, yeah, it's not crazy at all. Um, but we were just talking about how there's a lot of these kind of, like, indoor, like, food court market things lately, like the Pine Street Market that we saw in um, Portland. There's a new one in Philadelphia. Um, where else did we just see? Oh, there's like that Brooklyn Food Hall. So yeah. there's a lot of these kind of like indoor, like multi vendor food court sort of things popping up now. I guess that's the new hot food trend. <laughs> Belgian waffles. Um, 